press it and I lean and it works. Yes, you do. Go on. And you can turn, yeah, you turn okay. Wow. I remember that. That was a disabled man walking with the help of an es exoskeleton suit developed by Rewalk Robotics. That was about four years ago on this program. You saw it. Now they're back. A new product. It's for stroke survivors who can no longer walk. Joining us now is Rewalk Robotics CEO Larry Jashinsky. Larry, welcome back. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Doing fine work there, young man. We are. We're, we're very excited about uh, what we've had developed here. Now, this, this new suit, lighter, easier to work, did you develop it specifically for stroke victims? This is designed specifically for stroke, but also in the future can help people with MS and Parkinson's. It's about one-seventh of the weight and about one-seventh of the cost of the types of products that were made for the paralyzed community. So it uh, has a lot of economic and uh, physical benefit. Okay, so it's not a, a huge suit. It's an appliance to a specific part of the body, like on the leg, for example. Yeah, essentially, we've stripped away a lot of the things that held up the entire human body and focused just on what's needed. So if you need to move the ankle joint and eventually the hip joint, it can, it can do just that in a much more miniaturized way. And it's reliant on a combination of sensors that tell it how to move and uh, unique fabrics that are very soft but we can transmit force with. Okay. Now, behind me, Kathleen O'Donnell is with us. She's one of the project managers here. She's up on our little balcony right mm -hmm. there. And we've got one of these skeletal, exoskeletal suits with us. Now, Kathleen, welcome to the show. It's good to see you. Good to be here. Um, can you move it? Yes. I, I don't know whether we can pick up the movement, but you show Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So, so as Larry mentioned, we really stripped away all of the, yep. the rigid components. So it allows the user to walk with their own natural gait. Um, and what it does, it has these cables that run... Um, basically across the ankle joint. And when those cables contract in time with the muscles underneath, it helps to move the foot up and down. Mm. So this is the insole that goes in. So if I were to release the cables, you can see now the ankle okay. is free to move. So I don't and think our audience could probably see much of that, but would the person who is injured or disabled, would they have to do this on the little screen or...? No, absolutely. So there, there are two sensors in the, in the feet, and it picks up on the way they're walking, and it automatically adjusts as they change their walking. What, what does it sense? I mean, sensors on the foot, what, sensors muscle contractions? Like it's that? sensing the movement of their walking, and then it synchronizes based on how long their steps are, how fast they're walking. So if the physical therapist asks them to change something about their gait, they can actually respond, and the suit will respond to that change in their walking. So just by thinking it and trying to get their muscles to move, they're helped in that muscle movement and the leg movement. Exactly, and then the, the cables will contract in time and it'll physically assist the foot to lift up for ground clearance, and then it'll lift the heel up to push them forward during walking. Larry, have you got full FDA clearance to market suits like that? We are working on the big news that we have not is... Not yet, right? Uh, not yeah. yet, but we finished it and we're building commercial design now and we just started a major clinical trial which will be used as a basis for it. So we see that FDA clearance coming in early 2019. So we're well on the way with a commercial product that's really ready for patients today. Let me go back to the suit that you demonstrated for us four years ago, which was the full suit. Mm -hmm. And we had that paralyzed man literally walking in the studio. Did you sell a lot of those suits? Was it a wild commercial success? It's a success, but it's growing gradually. We're going, we have to about 500 people using them worldwide. The uh, main challenge has next been getting the insurers to cover it. And we've had great success recently in both Germany and Italy, uh, and uh, somewhat with the VA. And our, our expectations this year will continue to work with the U.S. to get the insurers to cover it here. Well, we've had 42 different insurers pay for it in the United States, so on a case-by-case. -case. You're making now, progress, Larry. Now we've got to make it policies. Larry, Kathleen, thank you very much for the demonstration. We appreciate it. And, Larry, thanks for being with us. You're doing good work right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.